Hey everyone. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic. How to eliminate cholesterol. High cholesterol can be a serious issue, but don't worry, we're going to break down exactly what you need to do to get your levels under control. You'll have a clear, step-by-step -step plan to tackle cholesterol effectively. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! First things first, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a fatty substance found in your blood. Your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells so eliminating it is out of the question. But that said, high levels of cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. There are two types of cholesterol, LDL, the bad kind, and HDL, the good kind. We want to lower LDL and increase HDL. So how do you go about it? Adopt a heart-healthy diet. A heart-healthy diet is your first line of defense against high cholesterol. Here's how you can do it. Eat more soluble fiber. Foods rich in soluble fiber can help reduce the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream. Include oats, barley, beans, lentils, fruits like apples and pears, and vegetables like broccoli and carrots in your diet. According to a study by Harvard Medical School in 2016, increasing soluble fiber intake can lower LDL cholesterol by 5 to 10 percent. Choose healthy fats. Replace saturated fats found in red meat and dairy products with healthier options like olive oil, avocados, and nuts. The American Heart Association suggests that reducing saturated fats can lower your LDL cholesterol. Increase omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s, found in fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, can help lower triglycerides and boost HDL cholesterol. A 2018 study by the National Institutes of Health found that regular consumption of omega-3 fatty acids significantly improved cholesterol profiles. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats, often found in margarine and store-bought cookies, crackers, and cakes, increase overall cholesterol levels. Check food labels for partially hydrogenated oils. Exercise regularly. Physical activity can help raise HDL cholesterol. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise five times a week or 20 minutes of vigorous exercise three times a week. Start walking. Walking is a great way to begin. It's easy, free, and can be done anywhere. Try aerobic exercises. Activities like running, cycling, and swimming are excellent for heart health. The Mayo Clinic highlighted in 2019 that regular aerobic exercise can improve cholesterol levels significantly. Strength training. Incorporate strength training exercises at least twice a week. This helps to build muscle mass and burn more calories, aiding in overall cardiovascular health. If you want to dig deeper into strength training, check out the playlist that will show up on your screen right about now. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight tends to increase cholesterol levels. Losing even a small amount of weight can help reduce cholesterol. Here's what you can do. Track your calories. Keep an eye on your daily calorie intake. Use apps like MyFitnessPal to help monitor what you eat. Eat smaller portions. Try to reduce your portion sizes. Eating smaller, more frequent meals can help control hunger and reduce calorie intake. Stay hydrated. Sometimes, thirst is mistaken for hunger. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated and help control your appetite. Quit smoking. If you smoke, quitting can improve your HDL cholesterol level. Within 20 minutes of quitting, your blood pressure and heart rate recover from the cigarette-induced spike. Within three months, your blood circulation and lung function begin to improve, and within a year, your risk of heart disease is half that of a smoker's. Limit alcohol intake. Moderate alcohol consumption has been linked to higher levels of HDL cholesterol, but the benefits aren't strong enough to recommend alcohol for anyone who doesn't already drink. If you do drink, do so in moderation. For women, this means up to one drink a day, and for men, up to two drinks a day. Excessive drinking can lead to serious health problems, including high blood pressure, heart failure, and strokes. Consider medication. Sometimes, lifestyle changes aren't enough to lower cholesterol levels. Your doctor might recommend medication. Statins are the most common medications prescribed, and they work by blocking a substance your body needs to make cholesterol. Discuss with your healthcare provider to understand what's best for you. Lowering your cholesterol is not just about cutting down on fatty foods, it's about adopting a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding tobacco and excessive alcohol. By following these steps, you can manage your cholesterol levels and improve your overall health. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and leave a comment below about your journey to lower cholesterol. Thanks for watching, and take care.